Hi guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Lake of Isles Golf Club in Connecticut, USA. Testing the new tailor-made PSI irons. Now, I must admit, I came here thinking it was a product launch for a driver. Didn't know they were bringing irons out. And now I know I'm very excited because I've tested them already and I like a lot. So I've got the seven iron, the four iron and the pitching wedge to test. These, the PSI range isn't massively gonna replace the RSI range. They're only bringing better player clubs out for the PSI range. I was kind of talking to one of the guys before. I won't name names. But they kind of said the, T, the RSI TP, the Forge one, was a bit of a flop. It didn't quite work. RSI 1, hugely successful. RSI 2, hugely successful. RSI TP, didn't quite do very well. So they're saying, well, we can't beat RSI 1, so we're not going to bring anything out there. We can't really bring beat RSI 2. We're not going to bring anything out there. But we think we can beat RSI TP, and that's where they've brought these two new sets out. RS, uh, PSI and PSI Tour. Now, the Tour ones, there is one set in the world, and they're up there under lock and key. I've asked politely, I've been refused many times. So I've only got the PSIs at the moment. Hopefully, I can get those ones coming soon. Face slots, speed slots. What they've improved on the most is the acoustics of this club how it sounds because they were saying the RSI TP as much as it was a lovely club didn't quite sound great and I said that in my review go back to the RSI TP review I said that I said they're good but something's something's not right about the sound and that's exactly what is hopefully they've kind of fixed here they put more padding behind the head they put dampeners they've made it sleeker you Justin Rose are talking about these he's loving the look of them and you know what there was an interesting little uh, clip I watched where it was saying about the look of an iron is really important and I absolutely believe that. You don't want to hit an iron if it doesn't look well and these look phenomenal. I I've always loved those face slots because for me it's like going to a bowling alley which is hard and then they've gone I'll tell you what let's put the bumpers up let's put those side sections up either inflatable ones or the panels down the side so suddenly it becomes a little bit easier and that's kind of what they've done here. If you don't quite crush it straight down the middle hit a strike you've got a bit of protection either side. You might still bounce it off the side and still hit a good shot. And that's what these face slots are doing. With the speed slot at the bottom, good looking iron. The seven iron is 31.5 degrees of loft. That's, for me, stronger than my normal seven. My normal seven is 34. Let's see how it performs. It looks phenomenal. I've just got these in standard KBS stiff flex. Let's see how it performs. Real balls on GT2. That was awesome. And it is, it's that very distinct, different noise off the face. Very different kind of, a nicer no, noise, a better noise, like the, RS, like the RSI 2 noise, really. Just, just solid, just good. Do you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just a nice hit. What, how far that one carry? 183 for 7 is pretty impressive. But for me, it's like 31, so it's nearer to my 6 iron, really. 31.5 loft. Yeah, they, they've got the noise right this time. They've got the noise right, they've got the, the feel right, they've got the looks right. This is a very good contending club. And one that, you know, I would give con serious considerations going in my set. So I, I think it just looks incredible. And I've, I have always loved those face slots. Tiny bit more faded, but I'm happy with that because I've been working on that right. So it's like 183, 182, my iPad's resting in the shade because it got too hot before. So let's move on to four iron, see what this does. So four iron loft is 21.5, um, which is more like my normal four iron loft. My four iron loft's 22, which is about the same as my four iron loft. Uh, it looks very inviting to hit, like I said, those face slots. Padding at the back. It's got a bit of carbon as well, sticking with the M1 theme in the, in the back pocket. Weather more for decoration. Um, I do think they're beautiful. A kind of a modern beauty. An engineering beauty, as opposed to sleek and sophisticated beauty. <laughs> I was thinking in my head then, like a sexy robot, but that's probably not quite the thought I should have been having when I was hitting a four iron there. <laughs> I crushed it still. 
Maybe it's a swing thought. Uh, <laughs> Like a sexy robot. That's literally what was going on in my head right there. A 219 carry. <laughs> I don't know how I even hit the shot. I was nearly laughing in the downswing. Um, felt good, felt easy to hit. Lovely flight, strong. Didn't quite hit it. Let's see what that's done because I'm bottom that. I didn't crush it, crush it, crush it. 219 was my first one when I hit it well. When I didn't hit it well, Two, I think it was a 2.11. So I've not lost that many yards, seeing that I, I really didn't hit that well at all. Let's go one more with the four. That was nice. That was nice, that was a good flight. That was a good flight. My, uh, I'm struggling to see my GC2 because it is kind of, almost like the screen's burning. 2.14. Um, yeah, awesome. Easy to hit. Sexy look. Let's see if I can get the pitching wedge in GC2 as well. Let's move this back a touch. So, pitching wedge loft is 45.5. Um, so it's got a tiny bit strong. 46 is normally standard for a pitching wedge with half a degree strong. It's not got face slots. Now the face slots and the uh, speed slot drops from eight downwards so eight pitching eight nine pitching wedge gap wedge sand wedge lob wedge don't have the face slots or the uh speed slots it's just from seven upwards uh nice roundness to the head lovely look again sexy carbon at the back let's go pitching wedge shots nice very nice spin should be about ten thousand let's see what that's saying Just struggling to pick up. I can't, I'm struggling to see the screen. So I'll come back to the averages in a minute. Well, a long way for a pitching wedge. Yeah, another nice, nice hit. Just a good, a good feel with these clubs. I get a good feel from them. I like a lot. It does say forged on this one. I'm not sure quite when it, when it goes forged. It didn't say that on the seven or the uh, the four. I don't think it said it on the seven. Let me just double check. It doesn't say it on the four. It doesn't say it on the seven. So whether it's the forged from pitching wedge downwards. Let's go last shot. We'll have a look at some averages. Beautiful. Very nice. Good feel off all of those shots. Felt good, even when I didn't quite hit them, still felt good. Let's get the GC2 up so I can have a look at the numbers and then uh, I can see some of the spin numbers as well. That'd be interesting to see. Okay, so now the uh, GC2 has been fully rested in the uh, shade. I can get some averages up. So the 7 iron was averaging at 183. Relatively straight. Longest one was 186. Weak one was only 181. So I don't think front to back dispersion is that bad there. It's only five yards. That's not going to kill us. Let's go into the four. The four was carrying on average at 216. The best one was 219. And the weakest ones were 214. Again, five yards. Not going to kill us at all. Looks like I was just aiming a little bit left on some of these as well. So you know, it's not the end of the world. And then let's go pitching wedge. So pitching wedge wasn't quite spinning 10,000, which I thought it might do. Just under 9,000. But average carry distance, 145 yards. That's a big hit in pitching wedge, considering it's not super strong. 45.5 degrees isn't ridiculously strong. Um, I, I think they're really good numbers. And I think the front to back dispersion is impressive with these clubs. When I didn't quite strike it in the middle, it still performed. I think they looked the part. I love the bumpers down the side to give that little bit of protection. It gives that security. It's going to be okay. You know, if you don't quite hit the middle, we've got your back. We've got you on this. You, you just concentrate on hitting the shot, and we'll. If you don't miss it, if you don't hit it, we'll catch you. Um, I love the carbon at the back. I think they're. A, oops, I think they're a very beautiful looking golf club. Uh, but like I say, in, in like a modern way, in not a not a sleek, sophisticated way, but in just in a modern looking carbon polish. Nice tailor-made writing on the back. It, yeah, I think they've got the looks of it spot on. And the acoustics, without question, definitely got it right this time, as opposed to the RSI TP. Don't forget, these aren't replacing the RSIs. They're just bringing them in because they kind of messed up on the RSI TP. It's 
guys thanks for watching subscribe by clicking the big link down here if you've not seen any other reviews on my channel of the m1s and etc go and check those out we'll see you next time testing some more clubs and thanks so much for watching